Today we're going to talk about a way to bring some more gear to the campsite to make you stay a little more comfortable. Stick around. Thanks for joining me back on the channel today. I want to talk about an easier way to get your gear from A to B. Maybe you have back issues, maybe you're just wanting to carry a little extra gear but you're not actually wanting to carry it. So what we're going to take a look at today is the multi-purpose cart or multi-functional cart. I call it multi-purpose. And we'll be taking a look at the Cabela's edition today. There are lots of different brands, sizes, configurations, setups of these multifunctional carts out there. I'm here at Mohican Memorial Forest. I'm going to do an overnighter. I've got about a um, quarter of a mile, half mile walk up and down some pretty rough terrain. So we're going to put the cart through its paces today and see how it holds up. Because if it doesn't do it today, it's not going to do it in the winter time when I really need it to do it. That will likely be an experiment all of its own, but that's for later. This is today. So let's open this up and we'll take a look at it and we'll fill it full of gear and see how it goes. Okay, the first thing you want to do to get this open is undo these Velcro straps right here. There's one on both sides. And then there is a zipper here in the front that we will want to unzip as well. There is a board here on the side. This is the bottom of your cart. So make sure you take this out and don't just toss it on the ground. And finish opening this up, a Velcro strap here. Pull it free. I'm ready to go. All we have to do is pull this guy apart. And you can also push down in the middle here to kind of help push the sides apart and finish that. Once that's open, we're going to go ahead and put the bottom in. So just unfold it accordion style and lay it right on in there and push down square. As I mentioned before, most of these have their unique designs or ways they're built or ways they set up, whatever it would be. This model here, one of the interesting features is that it has a tailgate. So you undo a buckle on this side and on this side here, and then the back just folds down like a tailgate. Close it back up, just lift it up, and then clip your buckles. There's room to adjust them if you need them tighter, but it holds pretty tight like it is. The handle in the front has rubber grip molding for your hands, and it is telescopic. It raises up and clicks, kind of like your luggage does. And there's buttons on the sides to let it back down when you're done. So once the handle's up, I can then pull it down out of the holder right here. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. The holder there and just clicks right in there so it holds it. So I just pull it down and off we go. One thing I don't really like about this is this is all the farther this goes down. It doesn't drop all the way down. Which yeah, it sucks bending over to pick it up off the ground. So if I'm going uphill and I want this thing lower, it doesn't go any lower. That is it right there. Just to get it, the boring numbers out of the way, it is 38 inches long by 20 and a half inches wide by 22 inches high. It can carry up to 225 pounds and it weighs in at 26.7 pounds. It's advertised that this is mostly a beach item, but I don't see any beaches around here, do you? Nope, fresh out of beach. So let's try a trail. 
this is all the gear I'm taking for tonight. I've even brought a few extra things. And I have one more little trick up my sleeve just in case this doesn't work that great. Some of the reviews I've seen were complaints about the handle, as I mentioned earlier, not going down all the way. So I said I had a little trick for that. And let's just try it out here before we even get going too far. So what I'm going to do is take some cordage here. I have 35 feet, 3 8 nylon rope. And what I did was tied myself a harness. I'm just going to lay my end down and I'm going to tie this around the handle here. One knot for me, one knot for safety. Tuck the extra in there, and then I'm just going to grab my harness end and throw it on like a backpack, just like that. Ta-da! Now I don't got to pull it. Bye! I want to give you my thoughts on the cart here, but before we do that, why don't you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Give the video a like and ring that notification bell so you can be updated or alerted when new videos come out. All right, I've successfully made it to the campsite. The wagon made it with all the wheels still on it, so that's a plus. It was not as difficult as I had anticipated to pull it over some very rough terrain. These are pretty much horse trails. The harness worked great, except going downhill doesn't work so good. The length of the rope does matter so adjust as necessary the handle is definitely somewhat of a hindrance with it not going down all of the way the big all-terrain wheels worked great even though they're plastic they still worked great the downside is the wheels don't operate with the handle the wheels just operate independently and kind of do whatever they want to do so stability is kind of an issue on some terrains because of that so just be mindful and you'll be fine. This particular cart here ran about $99, I believe it was. And I found it through a Google search on Cabela's, which I probably could have just skipped and went right to Cabela's website. But here we are. Was it worth it? Yeah, so far, it's definitely worth it. My back doesn't hurt because I was carrying a bunch of weight. The cart pulled fairly smoothly given the conditions. Nothing fell apart or broke yet. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this. It makes my life easier. My back feels better. And uh, I'm ready to put it through something way worse than this and see what happens. We'll get it in some snow this winter and see if it does what I really bought it for. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep pulling this thing around until the wheels fall off it. And then I'm going to duct tape them back together and pull it some more. I jump in the car to get out of here I wanted to mention a couple of things that maybe I didn't earlier the handle is too short for sure I'm not a tall guy and it's a good thing I'm not and it is way too short going uphill is a bit of a struggle with this I, the harness is definitely makes its money right there the independent movement of the wheels does cause a bit of a problem when you're using the harness the wagon will want to wander a little bit and then catch up to you. So no big deal if you're on a fairly flat, nice surface. Is this thing handy? <laughs> yeah, absolutely it is. You know, whether it's hauling the gear to the campsite, whether it's hauling firewood, which cuts down on the amount of trips you need there for sure, or maybe you just want to take the puppies for a ride. They like to take rides too. Thanks for hanging out with me today on the 419 Outdoors, checking out our multifunctional cart here. Until next time, live free, have fun, I'll see you then.